So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop this contest at one minute, 25 seconds with round number three. Declaring the winner. Dangerous goodness, gracious move like the Gracie brothers. Your pain is something, fed everybody, they don't say nothing. Still back to the bone from fetus. Their man move misleading. Choco, check if he's breathing. No, I don't think he's breathing. Bunny bot, them weave, man leaning. Last man that tried, they're fleeking. Don't talk too much, no more speaking. Man pre man and man, man still scheming. No threats to protect my cleaners. Creep them, beat it, catch man sleeping. So the beefing thing's not needed, but I had big, big man turn Jesus. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This could end up being a very technical, very entertaining fight. I'm surprised they didn't bring out the keys for this one, Chad. I mean, you would have thought as a jiu-jitsu watcher that you would see these two competitors at a jiu-jitsu competition. But ultimately, they are meeting in the octagon, and you are about to see jiu-jitsu in the UFC like we've never seen before. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he caught the kick there, and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him there. It worked out great. Caught the leg, drove right into his opponent, and put him on his back. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Nice one-two there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh! Huge kick to the head. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, closed guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't wanna be there, right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done.